Welcome, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for being here. We really appreciate your attendance here today to, uh, to talk about this very important topic. I have been guilty of some of the uh, safety zone violations, in particular because I, I speed, because I hate being late. Um, and I'm one of those people, because I blog and I text and I tweet, I tend to look at my phone much more than I should. People are going through uh, red lights, uh, they're ignoring crossing guards, going through crossing walk, crosswalks, and uh, texting, talking and texting on the phone, <laughs> and speeding in safety zones. Well, as a parent, I'm really concerned about the number of infractions I see other parents make. I spend a lot of time making sure I leave early enough and getting to a place where I can park legally as best I can, but other parents don't, and it's really, really scary for my children. If a school is provided with a, like a specific plan for their specific situation rather than a global plan, that there can be some really positive things that come out of the relationship with the school principals. I think as parents, it's our responsibility to put that pressure on the school principal because this is their building, this is their job to make sure that everybody is safe and to, you know, they're, they are the authority, they're the one that can reach all of the parents, they have all of our emails and they can, you know, continue to give us um, these messages saying that we need to, you know, whether it's going a certain way through the kiss and ride or whether it's don't park on this area or not, that message has to come from the administration. So, Like when I drop my son off at high school, there's kids running across the road, parents, there's accidents in front of the high school like every week. So why, why is there nothing being done for school safety for the older students so that they'll maintain that they're the parents of the future, right? They're the drivers of the future. Uh, we used to have teachers always out front and all the, you know, the helpers, but that has, has slowly been pulled away. The, you do it and I do it and we can't have it just in that borderline. Whose responsibility is it to do that? It's still our responsibility as parents, right? To, you, you can, you know, tell those things to your eight-year-old when he's first going to school on his own, but you still have to remind your 14 and 15-year-old that this is how it works as well, too. With my older son, I'll just continue to talk to him about walking around around the high school, and he's going to be getting his driver's license soon, so then he's going to be having the responsibility to drive safety in school zones, which is a conversation I'm definitely going to have to have with him.